Hello everyone, in this video I explain experiment number 6, electromagnetic induction. What do you mean by electromagnetic induction? This depends on Faraday's law. Okay, if we have a bar magnet and a coil, and when we move the bar magnet into the coil, what will happen? Electromotive force induced across the coil. This electromotive force produces a current. That current makes deflection in galvanometer. This deflection depends on what? Depends on the magnet, depends on the coil. How can we increase that deflection? We use a stronger magnet, with a coil of more turns, we increase the cross-section area, we move the magnet faster. Let us start. The apparatus that we need, galvano, galvanometer, coil, magnet, connecting wires. So set up the apparatus as shown in the figure. So we set up as shown. So, so we connect the apparatus as shown in the figure. Now thrust the north ball, thrust the north ball of the magnet into the coil. So when we thrust the north ball into the coil, so what happened? Deflection to the left. So pull the magnet, pull the magnet back out, deflection to the right. If we stay, if we leave the magnet stationary inside, no deflection, no deflection, the needle at zero. Now, we write here the observation. Magnet into the coil, what is the observation? Deflection of the needle to the left. The needle deflected to the left. Magnet out of the coil, the needle of galvanometer, deflected to the right. Magnet is held stationary, so no deflection. Now, what is the analyze? Explain your observation in each step. When the magnet into the coil, when the magnet into the coil, so what will happen? Electromotive force induced in the coil produces a current that current has one direction when a magnet into the coil and EMF is induced across the ends of the coil drives a current in one direction when the magnet out of the coil and EMF is induced across the ends of the coil drives a current in opposite direction to the first one magnet is held stationary no EMF is induced so no current and no deflection. When thrusting the north pole of the magnet bar into the coil through the, uh, through the opening that is towards me, what will happen? EMF induced in the coil. This EMF induced produces current. That current has magnetic field. That magnetic field is opposite to the north. It means this, this place of the coil, it becomes north, and this becomes south. Obvious. This is lens law. So because the of induced magnetic field will point towards me, because this is north, and here it becomes north, will point towards me because lens law. The coil becomes magnet, has n ball, has n ball in front of me. Has what about the conclusion of this experiment? Why we uh, did this experiment? To study electromagnetic induction. So, when we set up this experiment, we found that when we move the bar magnet into the coil, so electromotive force induced around the coil, so and that produces a current, so we have deflection in galvanometer in one direction. When we pull it out, when we take the magnet out, so what will happen? The current it will be reversed. So the deflection to the opposite side. But when the bar magnet is stationary, 
So no EMF induced because the EMF induced it depends on the movement. Induced it means it depends on the movement of the bar magnet. So when the bar magnet is stationary, no EMF induced in the coil, no current induced, no deflection. This is experiment number six. I hope you understand it. Thank you.